we show here the recording of a single GABA8 channel current in cell-attached configuration. Researchers perform this type of recording to identify the characteristics of unitary GABA-A currents in control neurons. Here are unitary GABA-A currents. These are currents shown towards the top and are of low amplitude, about 2.5 picoamps here. If we look at the trace, we will first see a current of very short duration followed by a current of much longer duration, which indicates that channels do not always open for the same length of time. Then we see currents that are very brief. Since they are so brief, an impression is created that they do not have the same amplitude when in fact they do, but their shortness prevents us from recording their actual amplitude. How did we register them? They are recorded in cell-attached configuration and voltage clamp mode to obtain currents. In cell-attached configuration, the pipette contains extracellular medium, and this pipette is very strongly attached to the membrane. We hope that the small piece of membrane under the pipette has one or more GABA-A channels. To activate these channels only, we put some GABA in the pipette. In this case, it is only these channels that are opened by GABA molecules, and we will get a current carried by chloride ions. We have 140 millimolar chloride in the pipette, and we do not know too well how much we have inside, except that it is a lot less. We cannot know exactly because in this configuration, the intracellular medium is the neuron's intracellular physiological environment. We see two traces here. At the top, there is the voltage trace, i.e. the voltage which is going to be imposed by the electrode. And below, we have the current trace. What we see is that when we change the voltage at the top from positive potentials to increasingly hyperpolarized ones, underneath on the current traces, we see first upward trending currents. Obviously, given that the time scale here is very small, we see openings as lines, but as we stretch the trace, these would turn into square steps. Then, when the potential drops to zero, and even at negative potentials, we see that the current reverses and becomes downward trending. It will increase. Now, if we depolarize the pipette again, you see that it once again reverses, and we see upward current traces. Now, how do we build IV plus in cell attached since we do not have access to the intracellular medium? Remember, we can still change the potential inside the pipette, which is called VP for V pipette. At this time, the potential that is to be found on either side of the little piece of membrane and therefore that of the channel being recorded is VM equals VI minus VE. And since VE, extracellular, is VP, we get VM equals VI minus VP. VP is imposed and therefore known, but VI is unknown. We know that when VM is equal to the chloride ion reversal potential, the GABA unit current is zero. We saw, and we will see again on the following image, that the current reverses when the pipette's potential is at zero millivolts. Then we have VM equals VI minus zero. Therefore, VM equals VI. Let us look at those voltage current traces again. If we zoom into the trace for positive VP potentials, we will see these positive current steps. And again, you see that they are of variable duration. If we zoom into the trace now, when the pipette potential is at zero millivolts, we will see that we no longer observe the current steps. 
at that moment, Vm equals E chloride, and there are as many chloride ions entering as there are exiting. And although the channel is opening, there is no unitary current. If Vp becomes negative now, we see that the current has reversed and is downward, and you also see the channels opening. As far as the downward currents are concerned, we note that in fact, there was more than a single channel in the patch because we see opening channels whose amplitude is a multiple of a single channel opening. We can observe that these channels open at almost the same time. The cell attached configuration helps record unitary GABA-A currents without changing the composition of the intracellular medium.